not gonna grow. He was able to get the doctors, he was able to get the lawyers and all this. He started, he started creating people to get people, other people interested in the game of boxing that 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 that, that, that made it grow. As a fighter, are you glad that the because one of the things the WBC did was to reduce the rounds from 15 to 12 rounds? Are you glad he did that? I remember seeing a fight, uh, uh, the last round of the fight between Larry Holmes and Ken Norton. Neither of them had anything left at all. Both of them went in and they were on empty in the gas tank and they fought a terrific round. But I saw that round and it frightened me. It really did frighten me to see them because both of them had nothing at all left. And Solomon said, after that, it's time to change it. Are you, are you glad personally or not? Well, you know, you know, as an individual, it, it changed. But you know what? You wouldn't have that much of complaining if it went 15. That means somebody gonna get knocked out. Yes. You gonna know who I last. But you know, but but for a safety wise, it was safe for both for the fighters. Yeah. But when it's 15 round. Most people ain't gonna be able to go 15 rounds. Mm -hmm. yep. So it, it didn't come down to you all, baby. If you didn't have the energy and you didn't take care of yourself, yes. you wasn't gonna win. It, yes. that, that 15 round, man. I went one 15 round in my whole, in the, in the whole, really? my whole, and and I lost 15 pounds. I had to go to the doctor, and after when I got from the doctor. I, I, I gave my championship belt back. I said, I ain't want to fight no more. I said, because it was just too hard. Mm. And, but they promised they, they'll never be that hard again. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Apart from Mike Tyson, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, champ, what do, you, you what, do you, what do you make of the current heavyweight division? What do you make of Wilder versus Tavern? Well, I, I actually, you know, hey, hey, you know, uh, hey, I'm to miss an even matchup. You know, only different that, that, that I think that I would give the advantage to to, uh, to Wilder. Yeah, he's a fast fighter. He, he a quick fighter. He get his hands off. And when you when you're that big and you get your hands off, you hurt somebody. They hurt. They can't recover because you know because you got that good hand speed and he got the reach and all that. And he he still fight the amateur style, which is great. I said a lot, a lot of people you, you fight amateur and you you learn the best way. The longer that a person turn pro, then they fall into the pro style, and then they tend to get lazy. Now Wilder, Wilder, Klitschko are, are, are new school heavyweights, big guys, way bigger guys than what you were used to. Um, but one thing about Wilder, he doesn't have that experience like Stavern does. You think that's going to be a difference in the fight? But see, that's, that, see, that's, see, that's the order of the fight. If it's a quick fight, Wilder. If it's a long growing fight, the other guy. Because you know what? Because the other guy, one guy ain't proven for the long, the long distance. He, a quick fight, he gonna get the best. That's I was talking, you know, you came up in a golden era heavyweight yourself, a Tyson, Lennox Lewis, George Foreman, second run, uh, Ritz Bolt. How do you compare that era to what we have now? Or can you compare it? Well, well you, know, you can't compare them guys to, to our era because for one thing, we had a long amateur career. I, I bet you, man, you ask all the guys in my area how many times they fight for the uh, amateur fight. I had 167 amateur fights. Man, you know, man, I fought everybody. Did nobody give me cakewalks and, 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 and when I go in the fight, I realize that it's going to be tough. And I ain't never think it's going to be an easy fight because there ain't no easy fight. You know, this is how you get tore up. How would Vladimir and um, Vitaly have done in your um, era, you know, coming in the late 80s, early 90s, competing with you guys? Well, I'm talking with the yeah, same. In the prime. But I want to say, in they same style, they, when they first got into Baca, they, they ain't do that well. They, you know, they, they got knocked out a couple times. Yeah. He managed to show them how to hold on and all this, and they saw with it. <laughs> like this, so, so, you know, I'm just, it show you that, you know, they had to get, up to with knowledge, power coming knowledge, you know, so, you know, I think that any fighter can be a good fighter if they follow the direction and willing to make adjustments. So, you know, I, I think if, if they was, if they were fighting in our time, I think that they would have to get more training and because they got more training, they would have changed, they would have been able to make adjustments. That's all we did, made adjustments. Now we're here at the WBC convention, but it's also like the 84 Olympic reunion. Are you guys hanging out tonight? How is that work um, being here with, amongst all the greats? Well, you know, I'm, it, it's, it's good. You know, I'm like, you know, with me and Penel Whitaker and, you know, and some of the other guys. I'm, 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 it's, it's 
good, like this reunion tenure, what are you doing? Uh, but you know, it's life after boxing, man. You can box all your whole life. Any, wor any words for the boxing fans out there? Well, you know, keep supporting boxing. Tell the guy, get in there at a young age and, and stick to it. You can't just, can't, can't be best in five different things. I became a best boxer because I had put down football. When I put down football, I became the very best boxer, but I used to try to do both of them. You ended up with the top two.